center of BC people of the earth, but we all live on this earth together. We're all connected. And so in terms of climate change and environmental justice, it is all Lionel Lapini, come from Fort Chippewa, Alberta, uh, located north of uh, the world's most destructive project on the planet, known as Tar Sands. And right now our people are slowly dying. It's like a slow form of assassination on a part of the government, you know, because uh, it's Canada, the United States, every country in the world wants a piece of the tar sands at the cost of our lives. Right now, I don't kind of <laughs> industry and uh, with tar sand being around for the last 40 years to me you know like uh, it's like a bunch of kids playing around in the dirt right now you know and they're making a big mess they're killing people you know so they have a price to pay you know so I don't want my kid up here repeating what I said I want my kids his kids to come here and tell a totally different story tell a more happier story than what I'm saying right now I want them to say that yeah industry was in our area but we kicked them out of there a long time ago my dad was part of that you know we booted those guys out of there so they're gone now you know so we're cleaning up the mess right now Things are going to be back in place. We're going to be back on the land in no time. We're going to be back out there hunting, fishing, chopping, doing what we did before. And right now, because we're limited, we're limited that much to hunting, fishing, and chopping. Hey, <laughs> earlier about how I deem industry people as a bunch of kids in the dirt. Well, these kids, you know, have friends and they're called the Canadian government, you know, <laughs> and the provincial government. So you get Canada, you know, their ultimate goal was to kill the Indian people from day one. And they tried numerous different ways by the Indian wars. They tried through uh, the blankets, the smallpox. They got us all sick. They threw us all into residential schools. They tried to make us all white. And now they figured, okay, we can't kill these guys physically. So what better way than poisoning what's best to them, you know, Mother Earth? And that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're destroying Mother Earth right now as we speak, you know. And uh, so I believe that Canada is totally responsible for the death of a, a thousand people. And probably more than that because there's a lot of people that are heading back east, you know, to uh, Newfoundland. They're going back to the sick as well. You know, so Canada is responsible for that too. And they wouldn't even recognize our rights, don't recognize us as even human beings. You know, so I'm not going to recognize Canada as even a country. For that fact. So, uh, so Canada here being one of the G8 countries, you know, they they advertise themselves as being one of the greatest, friendliest, greenest countries in the world. And in fact, they're the, they're the darkest. They're one of the blackest countries in the world, you know, because we're living up there and we're dying. We're the ones that are getting sick. We're the ones that are suffering, you know, because of this the so-called Canadian government. Personal why I'm here, because my father is from the territory at Ground Zero where the tar sands are taking place. So where he hunted, where he fished, where he gathered, there are now open pit mines that can be seen from space. And just the impact that this is having on our atmosphere, you know, in terms of climate change, it's all connected because my mother's people is being threatened by the pipeline that's going to be used to transport that oil from my father's territory. So we're also here to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters on the coast who are going to uh, be threatened by the port that's going to transport that oil in Kitimat. So I'm here to reiterate the alliance that has been formed along the pipeline route from the tar sands to the port and we stand united against the world's largest enemy. <laughs> Like, 
like um, it's happening right now. Cultural genocide. It's happening, you know. It's just it's cultural genocide. That's, you know, that's the only two words that could, that could sum the whole thing up in a nutshell. You know, that's what's happening right now. And Harper's responsible. If not him, then whoever else is up there is responsible. I don't really care who's in power right now because uh, whoever votes is responsible. If you if you vote for any one of these leaders, you're responsible as well too because uh, you don't even know who the hell you're yeah. voting for. You know, he's always looking for this threat, this terrorist threat. Well, they don't have to look very far. All they got to do is look in the mirror because that's where it is. You know, right now, the elected officials, that's the terrorists right now in my eyes. They're terrorizing us right now.